video conferencing Zoom. Um, this court has been assigned the termination from the drug court uh, hearing um, only in this matter. Uh, Mr. Major was, it was uh, voted that Mr. Major be terminated from the Polk County Drug Court. And uh, due to uh, the termination hearing and uh, I believe underlying um, judgment of conviction, it is this court, uh, this court was assigned or is uh, doing the hearing out of courtesy for Polk County Drug Court. Um, I have reviewed the uh, motion to reopen and reconsider the uh, request to terminate from drug court at the previous hearing that we held. And I do not recall off the top of uh, my head that date at which uh, this court did hear that matter. Um, but uh, there wasn't a formal hearing because uh, Mr. Major and Mr. Brandt indicated that Mr. Major had signed away his um, right to request a hearing in this case, and he did wish to be terminated from drug court, um, after which fact the court did receive a motion uh, filed by Mr. Brandt requesting that the court reopen uh, this case to uh, reconsider whether or not to terminate Mr. Uh, Major from drug court. Mr. Stillen, do you object to reopening and reconsidering uh, whether or not to terminate Mr. Major? Judge, uh, walking in here today, uh, I was going to object. I, I don't know that there's newly discovered evidence or that it meets the legal standard for motion for reconsideration. I, I know that Mr. Major was served this document. Uh, I know as well that the file document, document 23 out of 21 CF 593 indicates a, a date of signature of October 1st, 2023. It's signed by Mr. Major, I believe, and it states I do not want a uh, hearing on termination. I'm, I'm not sure why the decision was made for a, uh, a hearing. I, I know Mr. Major then was subsequently represented by counsel when these set of cases were called. I believe that was October, um, October 5th. So I'm not sure why the change in mind, but I will defer to the court. I do have the case manager uh, to my right who's prepared to um, speak about the termination decision as well as um, the motion that was filed, the uh, motion terminator in the court. All right, before I determine whether or not I will reopen and reconsider um, hearing this uh, matter, Mr. Brandt, why the request to reopen, it's quite obviously obvious and clear uh, that it is in Mr. Major's handwriting that he did not want to have a hearing. Uh, yes, Your Honor. Uh, thank you very much. I, I appreciate very much the opportunity to represent uh, Mr. Major. Uh, I, as I provided an affidavit on this point, in my motion to reopen and reconsider the, the waiver of this hearing. And uh, that's explicit. And I asked, I would uh, reiterate without identifying uh, those, uh, the substance of that. But in addition, I would identify that uh, as I identified in that affidavit, uh, September 14th, I was hired with regard to uh, a family court matter with Mr. Major uh, seeking custody of his son, and it was uh, imperative that uh, that he have a uh, placement of the son who was then subject to a, a child protection action in Washburn County. And so we brought the action. He brought the action here, and then hired me. When he, I was surprised, all of a sudden he's in jail, and I, I all of a sudden I'm acquainted with uh, these cases now cited uh there's three and uh for which he's on probation his probation uh, uh in 20 cf 52 was an offense in 2021 his discharge date from probation is may 28th 2024 so he's got another year on that and then in 21 cf 593 
That offense was, again, a, a, bail, a bail jumping. He's had trouble with appointments and socializing and, and accounting. Uh, it's shown up in the drug court uh, history. But the discharge on that probation is May 27th of 2025. And this boy needs to be on probation. And when I when found him in jail, I went to see him in jail and I did, I, I, I arranged your schedule with your clerk to have a hearing on on uh, the uh, and, and review and and to ask the court not to terminate him from job court and, and wanted an opportunity to be heard on that because I have significant information and have some insight into the merits. It's uh, I don't think this is a close case. It needs to be reviewed. And then all of a sudden I find out on the day that we have a hearing and I've got the witnesses in court and they bring in Brandon and they said, he's waived it. There's no hearing. And I didn't open up. There was no notice of, uh, I, I my appearance wasn't even noted. And it was like, oh, well, he's waived the hearing. And I can't, I have to hear and obey my client. I, for the first time, I'm surprised that he's written on there. I don't want to hear it, okay? So, and it's, I, I'd already visited him in the jail. I'm surprised his witnesses are here, just like today. And all of a sudden, I can't say, well, wait a minute. No, we want to hear him. Mike, I have to hear and obey my client. Uh, I can give him advice and I can operate for him. But it, it, the substance to this is significant. Uh, and, and if you would... I appreciate very much the opportunity to identify the significance of all of this. And it's very important to his future because the issue is whether to terminate him from treatment court. And he's asked for review. Is this treatment successful completion of treatment, uh, 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 successful completion of treatment court was a, a condition of probation. So he's going to look at a, he's going to be revoked uh, on that, and then uh, and he's done. And and he's this boy needs to be on probation. What I'm going to show you today, if I have an opportunity, is th that what I learned in this is that he has uh, an, a, a schizoaffective disorder, and 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 that was diagnosed. He has a mental health issue. And if I may, I'd like to proceed to present the significance of that. Uh, the, the point being that uh, he was in treatment court November of 2021. He's now in the termination phase in advance to stage four, uh, uh, December 2nd of 22. So you look at all of the non-compliance in the history up to that Again, point. you're not getting into why I need to reconsider to reopen the uh, case. I think there's a lot of merit to open the case because he has a schizoaffective disorder that needs to be taken into consideration to understand uh, uh, and uh, that there's, there's merit to his continuing treatment and finishing uh, of of a, course there's a, merit. There's a positive a, benefit for him to continue. You're right. You're correct. But not whether or not I should reconsider um, reopening the case to hear whether or not to terminate him from drug court. You're getting on to what should have been argued or could have been argued. But again, even if we had that hearing, that's not even relevant. It may be information you want the court to be aware of and to know, but in a, a but honestly, in a termination of a drug court, a treatment court, it's whether or not he violated the rules. Did he violate he the rules? Waive, he I, didn't I, I don't waive know. hearing knowingly, intelligently, and understandingly. And we didn't have a hearing. And we were surprised. But he didn't waive it uh, knowingly. And he didn't have the advice of counsel. He had counsel at the time. Uh, I did not know that it was waived. It was a surprise, but he certainly didn't knowingly, voluntarily, intelligently waive it. Uh, he's, I don't even, he said somebody somebody came down and uh, from uh, probation or something and, and uh, they had a conversation and he put an exclamation point on it. He was mad. 
So I don't know what the surprise was or the result, but it would take just a few minutes to go through the merits of this case and uh, do an opportunity to do justice. Mr. Major, can you read, write? Do you understand the English language? I do, your honor yep. commissioner. And it's now 1.55, I have another case at two o'clock. This matter was set for 1.30. Um, this is a motion to reopen, and I do agree with Mr. Stillen that there's not enough here. There's nothing here uh, for the court to reopen this matter. This is a, 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 a hearing for a termination of drug court case. When the court first came to hear the matter, uh, which it was placed on the court's calendar, and we did have ample time to hear that hearing, um, this court was informed um, on, it was October 6th, was informed that no hearing was necessary. When we look at the affidavit or the uh, um, document number 23, it very clearly identifies all of the information that Mr. Major uh, needed to be informed of, um, considering all of the evidence that was uh, at least brought to the drug court's attention and was presented to Mr. Major. He can read, write, he understands the English language. He signed with a big X. I waive the right to have a hearing and agree to be terminated. He signed it on October uh, 1st, 2023. And then on top of that, he wrote, I do not want a hearing on termination, exclamation mark. The court held a hearing on October 6th, again, with ample time to allow the parties to be heard. It was at that time that this court was uh, informed that a hearing was not necessary. Um, the court did not call this matter on the record uh, because I was informed that we did not need a hearing. I was informed by you, Mr. Brandt, and then Mr. Major himself indicated that he had signed and he did not want a hearing. So then the court uh, terminated the hearing and uh, allowed him to be uh, terminated and discharged from uh, Polk County uh, Drug Court. At this time, I don't find that there is any um, information uh, for reconsideration or to reopen this case. So I'm denying the motion. The motion for resentencing needs to be scheduled with Judge Tolan. That is his case. And he will hear on whether or not to resentence Mr. Major. What I've read in the affidavit in support of the reconsideration, as well as in the argument here today is all of the benefits that Mr. Major would receive should he continue and uh, go through drug court and successfully complete drug court and how beneficial that would be for him in his life, which I, I do not disagree with because drug court is an amazing program. It's a lot of work and it, it is uh, for the benefit of the individual as well as their family, but it's not any information for the court to uh, reconsider um, reopening the matter to hear uh, a termination hearing. So motion is denied. 